it by hand is, it's, it's an intimate thing. You're seeing these beautiful woods that up until you got them to where they were, that was all concealed for the most part. I don't just have a spec sheet and carve things to a number and say I'm done. No, it gets tested and felt and checked and, and, and held and, and, and just experienced before I can say it's, it's right or it's good or it's what it needs to be. It's almost an addiction at some point, you know, you, you just get used to these smells and these, these textures and uh, feeling and, and just kind of being aware of what's happening as, as I'm carving and shaping things. <laughs> 2000 began uh, my adventure as a solo bassist, which took me places I never thought were, were there, were possible. Um, it's really changed the way that I view the instrument and the way that I play the instrument. When I'm building a bass, there's a lot of things that go through my mind. There's, there's the person I'm building it for, first and, and foremost. I think about the woods that are involved and, and their tonal characteristics. You don't really quite know what that bass sounds like until you play the first note. All of those exact pieces of wood coming together, the way they come together, is particular to that one bass because it's wood. It grows. <laughs> it's natural. And every piece of wood within the same species is going to have slight variances. Um, so there's always a little bit of excitement in every build. There's a little bit of mystery. Sure, it's wood and wire, I get it, but there's a lot of love that goes into these things. That's one thing that I hope people get, is, is the joy that I have building these and how much it lights me up. And uh, one of the coolest things about building them is I get to play them first.